risking my life in the ocean. And you couldn't watch last week's episode? Come on, man. I'm in Maine. Watch the episodes, please. Look at this. Pokemon watches. It's not Captain Hook. It's the off-brand Captain Pirate. I got all the stuff that didn't sell. Hold, hold up, Aaron. Poor little Kiwi. Open the whole time! Oh, my God! You're in control of sales. You were put in control of sales. Okay, then let me be in control. Bed, two queen beds there. And then there's like another, what? So, I'm lounging out by the pool. You will be eating breakfast at the cafe for the egg. Why didn't you fucking fly down here? Why the f did you tell me to go all the way up? Hogwarts Railways. How was the Flume ride? Ah, uh, you should have pushed her in the lagoon. I'll see you guys next time. Good shot of this room. And over here we have the bathroom. Um, what else we got? Sink, TV, connected room. This is our second time at Endless Summer Resort in Universal. I'm gonna go check out. Woohoo! Greetings everybody. I'm about to get on a train. So I will update you when we get on. Um, this is gonna be nuts. So stay tuned. This is a real train. Not Hogwarts Express. Look at this everybody. I'm about to get on the train. The Amtrak train experience was a very different experience for me. As, as you guys most know, most of you guys know, I don't like flying because the whole fear of, you know, falling out of the sky and plummeting and crashing to your doom or whatever. Um, but the train, I, 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 I did it. I did it to see how it would go and it actually wasn't that bad. You know, I had a, a good experience on the train. I would definitely do the train again. You know, obviously a train can derail just as well as a plane can fall out of the sky, but, you know, I'm at least on the ground, you know, I don't know. I, I had fun. The only, the only negative was when I got off the train, um, I was I was hobbling and wobbling around uh, because I still felt like I was moving like I was on the train. But outside of that, everything was fine. I didn't have to, you know, pop my ears like when you get off a plane because I have been on planes before. I just don't like them. That's the caboose! I think. Yeah, caboose. I did that. Look at that. Water. We are in West Virginia. I don't know why it's so blurry. Hold on a sec. Okay, there we go. Much better. We are in West Virginia. Or Virginia, whatever. So, Josh, what do you know about trains? Where are you going with this? I'm asking you, what do you know about trains? I rode a train, I went to Maine. Have you ever ridden a train? What do you know about trains? I know a lot about trains. No, I haven't rode on a train. I mean, Besides Bush Gardens or Universal crappy, not real trains. We know when you were born, you thought they said trains instead of brains. But anyway, that's besides the point. Just got dropped off. We gotta wait. I'm waiting for them to call my number so I can go get my car and get out of this place. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was a train. Cool scenery, food. Awesome. One, eight, four. Oh, I think that might. Nope, that's not it. Well. Look, guys. <laughs> it's your favorites. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've been in this one before. I don't think so. Like this is the Holland Tunnel or something like that. Just stopped in uh, New Jersey at the Clover Cleveland Rest Area. It's a rest stop. So let's go check it out. Woo! Oh, Joshy! Lottery time, baby. 
I know this is a really, really bad angle, but I can scratch off all cards if your hand beats the dealer's hand when price shown for the hand. Dealer has a pair of tens. All I have to beat is a pair of tens, guys. Okay, I missed the spades on that one. Three, four, eight, nine. Missed that one. Four, eight, nine, ten, ace. Missed that one. This isn't looking good. All I needed to do is beat one hit. All I needed to beat tens. It's not even letting me beat tens, guys. I'm trying. Two, eight, ten, jack, king, no. Three, five, seven. Nope. Okay, fat bonus chip. 1x win, double cash. Fast 52, fast 50. Nope. And if you're wondering what the lottery tickle looks like, well, there it is. There is that lottery in Ticklement. I lost. And yes, I do have a picture of what it originally looked like before I scratched. There it is. Oh, do you ever get mad when I'm out on vacation and I'm playing other states' lotteries without you? More or less winning. I was gonna say something up there a second ago, but I did. You're gonna have to cut that out. So, yeah, do you, uh, do you ever get mad when I'm playing other state lotteries without you? So I'm over here in Boston, of all places, and I just sold a bunch of stuff to uh, Steve. This this is like one of the more nuts deals. I've driven so much today. I just want to go home and go to sleep. Yeah? Yeah. There we are. And there is the hotel room. So I'm at the Comfort Inn. Um, funny enough, the sign over there says that we're in, where is it? Welcome to Randolph, we're in Boston. Boston, Massachusetts. This is the farthest north I have ever been and we are not done going north. So I will see you guys when we get to mine. Okay, here we go guys. This is 22, 19, 10, 29. What? Well, we have a... Oh, wait, no, we don't. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I have 9 and 29. I scratched off a 19. And I, for some reason, thought that I was a winner. Let's see, 22. Nope. We tried. Look at that. But, no winner. I found a lottery ticket in Maine. Let's see if I win. Nope. No winners today. I'm 0 for 4 on this trip. This sucks. Okay. So I took a trip to Maine. Uh, have you ever been there and what are your thoughts of Maine? It's a nice place. I think I went there one time. 
We had to take a ferry to get over there. It was up Vermont. We went up that way though. We went through the Maine. We had to take a ferry to get there. Did you? Or did they have a bridge? Uh, well, I mean, I, I, I took a train to Vermont, to Virginia, and then we drove the rest of the way. I know, but did you uh, take a ferry to get to me? No. For, no? Well, I had it up in that corner of the... The United States, I went up there, and I had to take a ferry to get over somewhere up there. Well, from the pictures that I saw, they look nice. <laughs> little spider what you doing so that's a spider I know it's baby talk time but look where I'm at I am at a little cottage um, I'm really close to Nova Scotia right now and uh, this is my backyard for the week look how cool that is I'm Eric Kosharski this is Maine and look, we're in Maine, everybody. Anyway, I will see you guys in a second. I'm going to go give y'all a tour. So over here we have a picnic table um, with a little wooden uh, tent, kind of, sort of, if you will. So there's that if you want to go eating, eat there. Uh, over here it's more forest. There is a lake right over there, another house over there. Um, I'm going to go down to the dock for a second, give you guys a little close-up of that. Uh, there's a little, one of those things that Mama Kay likes right there, the little white things. Um, one of those was at my wedding, actually, coincidentally, similar to that. And she's been looking for it ever since. Mama Kay, I think I found it. It's in Maine. There is a little bridge that will walk you down here. Uh, there's some stuff over there. And... Oh, looks like somebody's over by their dock. So let's go to our dock. Just right over here. And down there's the boat. There's the boat right there. So, I don't know what order these clips are going to be going up in. But I was on that boat yesterday out in the water. If you guys haven't seen already, it'll be either before this or after this or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to go back inside get some breakfast and head out for the day. This was the little mini tour of the outside. I should probably move here. Look at this. This is the back of the house. Sitting on the back porch. Eating of all things lobster. Nova Scotia is uh, somewhere over there. But uh, yeah. Got my orange and blue. Woohoo! Maine was peaceful and quiet for once. Do you think that me and Laurel should move there? Hell yeah. I'd move in a heartbeat if I had a chance. So yeah, I'm on a boat. And we're about to go for a little boat ride. So here we go. out there. Whoa. <laughs> wow, this kind of cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting Very a good. Very unusual. I'm oh, get, and there's a big, big one about to break. Give it about another five or ten seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's unbelievable. There's surf up here, apparently. Right. Apparently there's not supposed to be. We're rocking and rolling right now. But it's, it's oh, oh. Mm -hmm. it. <laughs> wow. Ooh. 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 Yeah, wow. I didn't think so. Oh my gosh, hold it. Yeah, this is a Oh, 
it's real hill in the water. Whoa. by the waves. Look at us go! <laughs> so yeah, we're on the water and it is, uh, this is nuts. I'm on a boat! I'm on a boat! I'm sailing at sea on my motherfucking boat! On a boat! Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Lonely Island. But um, they do a bunch of remixes and songs with, you know, celebrities. And they did one with, with T-Pain, where the guy's got three tickets to, to get on this boat. And there's three of them in the Lonely Island group, by the way. There's three of them. And, and you see him look over, and he's like, hmm, I want Keith. And the other guy's sitting next to him waiting for him to say his name. And it pans right past him and goes to T-Pain. He's like, yo, a T-Pain. And then, thank you. <laughs> You gotta check out the video if you haven't seen it. It's hilariously funny. But no, in all seriousness, I was on a boat, mother truckers. It was awesome. We were out at sea. Um, you know, I didn't get seasick, but I, I had a lot of fun. I'm on a boat, mother truckers. I don't know if there's a random. On the chimney, there's an off right now. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a. Oh, wow, yeah, there's a. There, it's my car, Hyundai Tucson. The all new Hyundai Tucson. Haha. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Are we taking the yeah, boat there it is, right there. Or Tucson. No, we're taking Hyundai the boat Tucson. Over to the, over to the okay. Okay. We're still gonna. It's gonna get better. Yeah. And there it is. Woo! Oh, that's a good Will you keep grab my... Right there. Oh, there So, yes, I was just on a boat. We are somewhere in the Maine Ocean. Because, uh, yeah, we're in Maine. Up way over there was the actual ocean uh, we weren't going to go that far because well no that would have been crazy but uh hold on a sec so yes i haven't i've done a lot of things on this trip that i haven't done uh very much of like i was on a train um, i mean i have been on a boat before but this was a new experience for me i know this is a uh, phone footage sorry about that i wasn't sure if i wanted to bring my camcorder in the water I will get some more footage on my camcorder, but anyway, whew, having fun, I'm enjoying uh, one of many vacations, so uh, yeah, <laughs> vacation city baby. Do you like lobster? It's okay. I, I don't, I'm not a fan of Josh! Continue. I like crab legs, but I like, I, I, I don't eat much lobster. I'm more of a crab leg person. It's raining out there. Boom! Just don't 
knock yourself out with it. The sound. Surfing. Oh, yeah, that's a couple. Okay, there we go. Look at all those turkeys. Yeah, I got it. He looks hot. Uh, we just saw a fox. So we've arrived, and look at this backyard. Nothing but water, as far as the eye can see. And then there's a bunch of speedboats going by. Um, I'll keep you guys updated. We got more places to check out. There's a boat out in the lake. Look at that. Choppy ocean. How do you feel about lobster? I hear you want to start selling chocolate covered roaches. No. I don't want to sell chocolate covered roaches. Now, oh, will, now, 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 now will these be wish roaches or off the floor roaches? You better and delete that. <laughs> what what kind of roaches will you be selling? What kind of will your be running while you're gone? I'm at a bakery and I'm eating a pumpkin uh, thing. Pump cupcake? Yeah, cupcake. I don't know why I got tongue tied there. Yeah, pumpkin cupcake. It's not you. It's meat. Beef jerky. So there's a trolley behind me. We went into town. Um, I don't know if you can see this. But yeah, we're in like a, a, a town here in Booth Bay. And actually, right there it says, bring home a piece of Maine. This is so funny. It also Booth Bay Harbor, right? But then look at this one. Daytona Beach, Florida. In the middle of Booth Bay Harbor. This, this probably shouldn't be here but I am not gonna take this home. Really? I'm from Florida. I know all about Florida. I go to Maine, go to the gift shop area, and they got a Daytona Beach hat. Daytona Beach is not in Maine. It's in Florida. What? The ice cream shop over here. And uh, way over there, it is a giant bus. It says travel with the cross, cross country. Yeah, oh yeah, it's just a, just a regular old boat over here. It looks like the Titanic? No, that's the Titanic, I'm pretty sure. Right there it says Titanic. And then, it was the unsinkable ship, and then it sank. Okay, next question. What year did the Titanic sink? 1900 and something. I don't remember. It's been a long time. And over there, it's the lighthouse of Pemaquip Point. Yeah, we'll be there later. It's a onesie for a baby, and it just says, I just did nine months on the inside. Ha, huh, that's funny. For yes, round back. A bird decaf triple. Wow. Shake that laffy taffy. <laughs> and here we have the Coastal Maine Popcorn and Company. Help wanted. Full, full or part time, year round. Retail position. Fun co workers free popcorn. Acquire within. Maybe I will move to Maine and work at a popcorn factory. <laughs> Our lobster rolls are so huge, they're one shell of a creature. Shannon's unshelled. Back. It is in the shape of like the hull of a boat. I made lobster, it was awesome. I had lobster bisque and I had some onion rings. And I've had nothing but lobster on this trip in every possible form. Look at that. The main thing I ate when I was in Maine 
was lobster. Lobster everywhere. Lobster bisque, lobster soup, you know, lobster rolls, uh, lobster lobster, lobster alfredo. I, w I was in heaven there. Must have more lobster! Well, we're leaving the cottage and we are heading over to Grimmies. Woohoo! Anyway, I'll see you when we get there. Whoa. So, this is my new digs. The next couple days. Excuse me, I just got up. But look. Look at this. Look at this. Look how much land. I'll see you guys later. Whoa. I miss you, kitty. I miss you. Last time I saw this cat, it was a baby. Her name's Aria. Bye, Aria. Bye. Finally, food I recognize. Woohoo! So, we are leaving our second spot that we've been staying for a few days. And each spot is like bigger and better and more awesome. I love this place. I love Maine. But anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later today. We got some fun things to do. I think we're go actually going to go to the point today. So t stay tuned for that. Um, sorry if I sound a little tired. I just got up. But yeah, we're here in Maine. Oh, uh, before we get the day started, I have to tell you a little, a little Tucson story. Hold on a sec. Okay, so here's the story. So we're driving, I forget whose house to whose house we were going to. But anyway, I'm driving down the road. In Maine, they don't have straight roads. There's hills and valleys. There's this like death drop road or whatever it was called. Thrill Hill, or whatever. And we're getting kind of close to that. And you know, it's hard enough for me to drive as it is in Pinellas County. But to drive way over here, it's even worse. So I'm driving going 55 miles an hour or whatever the speed limit was. I was like going five miles over, just barely. Um, and a deer comes running out in front of the car, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, a deer goes whoosh, right out in front of the car. I slam on the brakes. Uh, I thought we were all going to die. It was the most nuts thing ever. Hope that doesn't happen again on this trip. This was a couple days ago now, actually. But I figured I would share the story with you. Um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer almost hit my car. Out of my way. Oh. Thank goodness, the Tucson is saved. Hold on. Let, me, let, let, let me compose myself for this one. I had an out-of-body experience in Maine that you didn't see. I, there's no clip for this, but we were driving down the road. There's this place called Thrill Hill where when you drop it, it's... You, it's you, you, it feels like you're on a roller coaster, essentially. Well, somewhere in the vicinity of that area, right before or after that, um, we're either going home or we're going to eat. I forget what we were doing that day. But I'm go doing 60, 70 miles an hour easy, and a deer, just like, ju just like as if you're watching like, like the E.T. bike flying in the sky, or, or, um, <laughs> or, or Santa Claus and his reindeer flying up overhead, a deer comes flying through, Right above my car, I had to slam on my brakes. I went f flying almost into my own windshield. Um, it was, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, I was, I was scared. I really was scared um, because I didn't want to hit the deer. I, it would have ruined my car. I just got it. It's the only Hyundai Tucson. Uh, but anyway, yeah. So I slam on my brakes. We missed the deer. The day is saved. Thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. No, thanks to thanks to me. But no, ser in all seriousness, when you're in Maine, what the hell was that? Anyway, in all seriousness, when you're in Maine, um, yeah, don't hit any deers. And whoever's car alarm that is, uh, go shut it off, please. Back in the car, we're about to leave. We're going to the point. 
Um, so, check that out. It's going to be amazing. Uh, this place is really amazing right now during the summertime, but it's getting close to fall slash winter. It will get cold and snowy and freezy. So, yeah, good thing we're only going to be here a week. So here we are. We are at Pemiquit Point. It is a tourist stop. A must stop if you're in Maine. So let's go check it out. Look at this. Look at the rocks. So it's like a death trap, but we've made our way down to the bottom of the point. Pemiquit Point. Pemiquit Point was such an amazing stop. It's my, one of my wife's favorite thing about Maine. And it's becoming mine because it's nothing, there's just rocks. And after the rocks, it's nothing but ocean. And it's, it's such a cool thing. If you're ever in Maine area, go check it out. Um, if you're ever in the state of Maine, go check it out. It's, it's, it's a great place to check out. Um, but be careful because if you fall off the rocks into the ocean, you could get swept out to sea, and well, then it's pretty much game over. Um, so yeah, don't fall off the rocks. But it was it was a fun place. I had a lot of fun there. So there's a shot of the point of the lighthouse from way over here. I am really close to the water, and no, I'm not jumping in. It's too cold. But if you guys would like to see the water. There's an island way over there. I can zoom in. I don't know if you can see it. It's way over there. But look, there it is. Look, 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 there it is. So there is, there is intelligent life out there somewhere. But yeah, this place is nuts. There's a boat. There's a boat way over there. trying to walk my way through without falling. It's kind of difficult, but hold on. Okay, and now this is what you guys want to see, is me in the face of death. So, I will try and record some of this. We're good now. The rest of the path seems pretty pretty stable and solid. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'm almost all the way back up now. That was one heck one heck of a journey. sign here that says danger keep off the rocks I don't think anybody's listening there's some benches and there's one more shot of the water I think we're gonna head on out of here but look at that Bow. Josh isn't allowed here it says no pets allowed whoa and here is an up-close shot of the lighthouse I'm gonna go take a little trip inside and see the Fisherman's Museum. Giant lobster. Wow. Look at that, it's a director's chair. Yes. Tools of the fishermen. Ha -ha. 
do not touch. So there is one more shot of the lighthouse. This is, like I said, Pemaquit Point. It is my wife's favorite spot on the planet. So of course we had to come check it out here in Maine. Anyway, I'm leaving and I'll see you guys later. We got some more stuff to do. We're gonna be here for a couple more days. So stay tuned. Woo! Look at that. Lives have been lost. Extreme caution. Warning. Look at that. See him? Mm -hmm. They almost look like Daffy. Maybe not. It's hard for me to tell, Miss Claire. Come to me, duckies! Out of that. Hmm. I want one. Look. Do you see him? Mm-hmm. Aww. They look like that. Yeah, they're just chilling. You're safer this way. Okay. I got it. But get down there as well. While the waves are. That's what I'm doing. Whoa, that was a good one. Webster's native alewives? What? Webster? I'm nowhere near Webster. So, on my way home, there was a sign back there that said to remove my glasses for tunnel. So let's see what this is all about. <laughs> oh, it's just a, it's one of these. Hey, this, this looks just like the one on that Family Guy episode where uh, Peter had that big red car. Oh yeah. Anyway, it's a short one, but I don't think, I don't think I hit this one on the way up. So yeah, this is kind of cool. And it's kind of small. It's like tiny. But yeah, okay. We made it through the other side. That'll be all. We'll be home soon. And over here, there's a bunch of like hills and mountains and valleys, whatever, whatever all, all this exciting stuff is. I think we're in Connecticut or we're real close to uh, somewhere. I'll let you guys know in a second. Woo! The one thing I wanted to do last time we were in New York is get pizza. So we're in New York, and I'm getting pizza. Woo. So yeah, Pizza 2000. If you're ever in, I think it's Harrison, New York area, this place is awesome. I will be coming back. Uh, and I'll insert a photo somewhere in here of the pizza that we ate. It was awesome. Never been on this bridge before. The George Washington in the Bronx. Woo. This is extremely dope. Dope, 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 dope. Look at that bridge. Oh, watch out. There's cars coming from everywhere. Everybody's honking. We're in New York. Forget about it. <laughs> live on Corky News 9. We are reporting live from the New Jersey Turnpike. There is what appears to be a fire up top somewhere. I, yeah, I don't think that's supposed to be there. And it is a blaze. And I see, I think police, I saw I saw a cop down there somewhere. I don't know if that's supposed to be on fire like that, but it is. Try and zoom in. Okay, yeah, I can't get a good shot of it. But yeah, that's a fire up there. I don't think that's supposed to be there, guys. Look guys, I found a video game store retro. Um, it's very similar to Game Wizard. It's got the hours of operation sign, and on the door it says "closed uh, out for the day. Call if you need any assistance." <laughs> so we're here in New Jersey, and um, look, Josh, 
Kiwi. Kiwi yogurt. There's a yogurt store in New Jersey that's called Kiwi Yogurt. What are your thoughts? You're going to ask my thoughts on a place I've never f***ing been to. I'm literally only asking this question because the name of the place was Kiwi Yogurts. And he calls you Kiwi all the time. Well, that's not my f***ing name. Okay. Fancy meeting you guys here. Um, I'm not exactly sure which tunnel this is, but we're in Baltimore. Baltimore. Yeah. Ba yeah, Baltimore Memorial Tunnel. That's what it is. Anyway, yeah, this one kind of looks cool. I'll see you guys uh, on the other side. Ooh. So I don't know what this is in front of us. I'm going to try and zoom in on it. it. It looks like Oz. Maybe we're off to see the wizard. But there's these three things, like tall buildings, I'm assuming. And they're just oddly shaped. They look like pillars. Well, anyway, yeah, if we get closer, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next part of the trip. Well, we're back at the train station. There's a lot of uh, wood and a lot of train cars. Oh, some more wood. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. There's the last one. And there's where they put the cars. The car will come up. And actually we can watch. Look, look, watch. That car's getting loaded up right now. So yeah, the Tucson is on there somewhere. Prepare to head back to Florida. Okay, I'm about to board. We're about to get back on this wonderful Twain. Not train, but Twain. T-W-A-I-N. Because that's how we uh, talk. No, no, I'm joking. Anyway, but yeah, no. We're getting on the train. Um, this is awesome. And I will keep you guys posted for the remainder of the trip. And we're almost home. Look at that. Virginia River. It's James. James River. That is awesome. That's not true. I enjoy all kinds of foods. We got some chicken nuggets, some mac and cheese. Laurel got a cheeseburger. And look, there's a restaurant on the back of the train. See you soon. And we are about to get off. We got like four or five more miles to go around the train. This is awesome. One of the weirdest shaped electrical poles in all of Florida. The one in the shape of mouse ears. Okay, next question. Are you glad to have me back in Florida after that long main trip? I know these questions are like way outdated, but... <laughs> well, let me tell you. In a way, yeah, and in a way, no. Yeah, I'm glad you're back.
next time on the Kasharskis. He came all the way from <laughs> Boston. You know, Josh, we really have to stop vacationing like this. Well, we are here for Halloween. -y. Ray! It's a beautiful chair. Classic. Josh, take over for me, Josh. So, we just ran into Steve and he's riding it. Did you pay to rent that? Yeah. Okay, we're about to do a roller coaster. We're on Woody Woodpecker. Chucky! So, we went there and instead of choosing the wizard, they chose Steve. <laughs> I rode a real train, Josh. Why are we riding this Hogwarts Express? Wow, so Steve's trying to go in the exit. We, can't, we, gotta, go, we, we gotta get out of here, Steve. There's Josh. There's Josh. There's Josh. I can see him. There he goes. Let's see. Oh, I think we got one coming. Whoa! Duckies! Quack. Okay, well, Steve is leaving. Me and Josh are going to continue the trip. Bye, Steve! Uh, I'll see you guys next time when we go to a theme park.